Yes, <laughs> welcome guys. Remember, this is Lifestyle Thursdays with me, Sylvia Wanja. I trust that you've had a very, very beautiful morning and thank you for choosing to be a part of Lifestyle Thursdays. Now, Kama Kawaida Siko Pekeangu, I'm here with the lovely, the talented, the beautiful. Oh, please carry on. <laughs> but, but <it's> your <laughs> I need to keep adding them. Please, the, please. the talented, <laughs> the beautiful, the prosperous, the blessed. Oh, the, hallelujah. Which, which one else? <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Too good. Too good. How have you been? Oh. Mm. Oh, but don't know. Nina recover you. It's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were good here, thing. I think, was uh, last week, but one. Two we had a break. Ago. Yeah, we had a break mm. uh, last week because mm -hmm. we were in the careers of uh, Glory uh, mm -hmm. Youth Conference. I hope you attended that. Amma, you followed through with that uh, through our online platforms. And now today, mm -hmm. uh, we are back. And Kama Kawaida, we always have something nice in store for you. For you haven't talent. told me by the way how you are. Oh, how really? Are you? Mm -hmm. I've been awesome, a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. um, but aside from that, I think everything is okay. To me, barikiwa nambua. The rain is good, it's we doing as God. well. Yeah. Actually, I saw a comment somewhere, mm -hmm. and I said, actually, at Aqua Lifestyle Thursday, will be doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone says, when we ask you, how, you, how are you, mm -hmm. everyone is quick to say, I'm okay. But what is okay? Mm -hmm. What is okay? Describe that okay. Please describe mm -hmm. it. We need to understand. Please. Mm -hmm. Because some people, mm -hmm. Uh, you might be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Liam. <laughs> yeah, okay, I could dismiss. I don't want Plastically, any. yeah. Yeah. But deep down, mm -hmm. oh my. It's a tough But I hope that there. okay is okay. Legit. It's legit, it's, eh? Actually, there's someone I who can told tell me. from the smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone who, there's someone who also told me that if someone asks you, how are you, mm. you shouldn't reply with these general words, I'm okay, I'm mm -hmm. fine. Mm. No, like when someone asks you, how are you, they're asking how you're feeling. Exactly. So if you're going to give an answer let it be uh describe it like Fabulous. feeling wise like i am i am happy awesome. happy i am good sad yeah. i am you know sure. like don't just dismiss those words they're like blocks you're trying to dismiss the story like mm. outaki outaki could express what you're feeling sure. so if someone asks you how are you mm. i'm good is not an answer so how are you I'm happy. I'm, I'm very, very happy wow. and excited to be here. Wow. And yeah, we're looking forward to having an amazing conversation. Now, today, sure. we're going to discuss something very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Many a times we know of uh, how hair is important to ladies. Very. When it comes to uh, going to occasions, I'm a just everyday look. It's very important for you to take care of your hair. Sure. And now with us today, we have a very, very interesting guest. And I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so let's just give her a chance to introduce herself. And then we'll get to know and understand what it is that she does and why we have her here today. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am happy. Wow. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> well, I took one lesson. I yeah. hope you two at home are also taking the lesson. Learner. Yeah, very fast ladder. Yes. Uh -huh. Introduce yourself to the viewers back at home using this grammar right here. Tell them uh, who you are and what it is that you do. Hello, viewers. MBCI at large. My name is Sophia Hiohu, and I am glad to be here. I am happy. I'm blessed. I'm feeling beautiful. Uh -huh. I've just learned from the introduction right now. Yeah. And I am a hair and beauty a beautician by profession. I did hairdressing immediately after I cleared Form 4. I'm a wife and I'm a mother. And I'm a <coughs> co-founder of an organization called Women in Society, organization that deals with wig making. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, wow. yes. That is a wholesome mm -hmm. introduction. Mm -hmm. And for those who are keen followers of, li of Lifestyle Thursdays, they know that this is not the first time we're having her. Mm -hmm. We'd had, we had her some time last year when we were talking about uh, breast cancer awareness yeah. month. Mm -hmm. We had her and she shared with us how she, uh, together with her organization, they help us sponsor women who have lost their hair mm -hmm. by giving them wigs, free which wigs. was, uh, free wigs, which was really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, aside from that bit, there is now this other bit of being a hair beautician mm -hmm. and making wigs. So let's start from the top. What inspired you to start making wigs? Um, basically, when we were, we were young, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys, when you we were young, you used to do ku songa nyasi, mm -hmm. your yeah. logo in school. Uh -huh. <laughs> but mostly we could do that. Ya kutega boys wana anguka. Uh -huh. But I realized I would yeah. do nyasi around the field and make a circle. Wow. So it became Allah. So this is like, you know, um, braiding is like an art. Actually, it is an art from mm -hmm. the ancient days. Mm -hmm. So immediately after Form 4, yeah. before results is it okay, mm -hmm. there were two things. Computer, hairdressing. Mm -hmm. yeah. From the parents, some of us are 
bit old yeah mm. si kama siku hizi kuna maza shule sijui inge fanye hii mm. you can go to maybe yeah, some yeah. sponsored university or something yeah. so back then it was basically he addressing as we wait for the for the result mm -hmm. so i took a course mm -hmm. uh, there was a school called uh, top style mm -hmm. by pastor Pauline for deliverance at uh, there they had dimples mm -hmm. it was back 2004 2004 2003 mm -hmm. and uh, by then you could advance to something we called um, international hairdressing standard something like that mm -hmm. we could do an international exam wow so you would do the basic local exam mm -hmm. then you would do another international so i did both mm -hmm. yeah so my interest was mostly in hair mm -hmm. because i had started the plating of grass mm -hmm. so that is where my passion grew so fast forward 2018 as i said i'm a mother of two i get a baby uh, i have a background in insurance mm -hmm. so as insurance you have to we work on commission basis yeah. so when you don't work you don't earn mm -hmm. so i was grounded when i was bringing up my small baby mm -hmm. so i just went to youtube and then i found that people were making wigs mm -hmm. so having a background of hairdressing yeah. i just watched learn got the raw materials and tools from nairobi mm -hmm. and i did the wigs i started wow. doing the wigs started doing the wigs mm -hmm. posted on facebook people were asking is this your hair what have you done so mm -hmm. i started with the braided one mm -hmm. because there is twisted and braided so braided nile ata tutatu matuta kama kawaida and then twist nile kama sasa hii nyo wanja kwa now you can mm -hmm. you can twist but all in the aspect of what mm -hmm. of uh, braids mm -hmm. and then we have the weaves yeah mm -hmm. so the weaves you can also convert them into into wigs mm -hmm. so and that is how lusa wig was born Lucy is a combination of my firstborn child, who is mm -hmm. called Luther. Mm -hmm. My secondborn is Samantha. So we have Lucy Wig. Yeah. Wow. That is how my business was born as Lucy Wigs. Wow, Amazing. interesting. Yes. And you said something about uh, you learned from YouTuber. Yes. A lot of people are actually doing that nowadays. Mm -hmm. What sets yours apart? Because a lot of people are learning from YouTube, mm -hmm. and you see them posting. Oh, I tried this out. I'm selling this. Oh, yo, yo, yo. What make, what sets yours apart? Um. Uh, six years back, mm -hmm. wig making was not flooded as now, mm -hmm. and we are happy the business is growing mm -hmm. because we are bringing up girls who will need these wigs. Mm -hmm. So number one, it is a recycling business. There are some businesses like food business, hair business, beauty business will never die, mm -hmm. uh, food business. So ours, what makes ours quite unique mm -hmm. is that um, there's something we call a wig net. Mm -hmm. So some people have different ways of how they are doing them, mm -hmm. but for us, we usually do per whole. Mm -hmm. Mm. whereby uh, we had a complaint whereby people were saying when you scratch your head like this mm. the wigs would tear mm. because they were run by machine ours are handcraft skills hands on mm. we do them by hand we there's a video I'll share later. Mm -hmm. We do them by the crochet, and then you put on the hole, you put the strand of wig, of, mm -hmm. of, of the braid, mm -hmm. and then you just do the, the twisting or the braiding. Mm -hmm. So ours will never, I usually give people a guarantee of like six years or even five, because wow. I've had people bringing them back when they see we have the initiative of giving back to the patient, mm -hmm. and tell me, hey, nile tulianzaga na yo kitambo ya 2018, oh, wow. she mm -hmm. because I've sold to them so many other wigs. So the durability, mm -hmm. ours is quality and durable. Mm -hmm. and then it depends with how you manage it because this is just like braids on your hair mm -hmm. how you manage it it's all about you mm -hmm. yes oh, wow. mm -hmm. and how was it now for a start now when you started now uh, it did it get to a point that you said now this is something i need to like venture into it near to insurance i proceed with it now professionally uh, by the time I was also doing the wigs, mm -hmm. uh, by now the child had grown a bit, a bit big. I would live with the house girl. Mm -hmm. I was part time in insurance and then I was part time doing the wig because the same people were selling insurance too. Even my colleagues and my my clients mm -hmm. were buying the wig because I would wear them. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would go and come back with the lines. So some, to some point, I used to go with back to school lines mm -hmm. all through, and I got used to it because <laughs> yeah. I was wondering, hey, people are so good. And then women with the new trend. By that mm -hmm. time, six years back, even if you look at Facebook mm. or YouTube mm. wigs were the main thing to date I'm not saying they are not mm. but back then that market was not flooded at mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. so if I compare back then to now mm -hmm. I would say back then is when it was top mm -hmm. and if you were to make a kilo out of it mm -hmm. uh, we really did well mm -hmm. we did well in business terms of business we exported mm -hmm. we still do wow. our main export was in Australia mm -hmm. so I think the reception was good. Mm. Yeah, you have to be good in what you're doing and yeah. learn how to convince. Insurance language teaches us how to convince mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So by the fact that they will see the wig I'm wearing, yeah. it will just sell. Mm -hmm. yes.
yes. and love it. Yes. You know, you can't create a product and then not consume it. Exactly. You need to consume it so that people want to pay your loyalty to your mm. product. Yes. Otherwise, they won't buy it. wigs kwa nyumba. Yeah, but if you wear it, yes. people are more encouraged by sure. whatever product it is that you're trying to sell them and they will actually uh, buy it. Yes. Now, uh, what materials do you use to make this uh, wigs? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As for the wigs, mm -hmm. it depends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, personally, I love doing braided wigs. Mm -hmm. I don't venture into the weaves. Yeah? You know, we have the weaves. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the weaves, you can do the lines and mm -hmm. somebody do the weave on your head. Mm -hmm. So the same weave can be converted into a wig net mm -hmm. and becomes maybe a synthetic weave, mm -hmm. a synthetic wig. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, somebody told me, uh, I sent a client a wig uh, in Dubai mm -hmm. and then she told me, do you know what you consume in Kenya is not the original human hair weaves? Uh -huh. oh. Because mm -hmm. when they are made in China, mm -hmm. they are put in two classes. So class A goes directly to Dubai, mm -hmm. class B comes to East Africa. Mm -hmm. So even this human hair, you hear people say, no, I'm going to human hair, original, original. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing unless you can really afford the, but like the likes of these artists, yeah? Because mm -hmm. a very good single human wig mm -hmm. uh, goes about 250,000 wow. Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. The original, original like your main hair. Mm -hmm. wow. And that mainly you can shop it where? In Dubai. Mm -hmm. So um, I got a challenge. When I would buy these uh, raw materials just mm -hmm. around shops and mm -hmm. then I would do them in terms of weaves, transforming weaves to weaves, mm -hmm. people will come back, ah, you'll see original, you know, shikana, mm -hmm. maintenance is key. Yeah. So I would advise them, but they will not maintain. Mm -hmm. So I said, ah, let me take a step back mm -hmm. and do braids. Mm -hmm. Braid is just like the way it will be on your hair. Sure. You go swimming, you come out, dry your braid, mm -hmm. warm, and then put some conditioner, mm -hmm. dry your hair, you're good to go. Yeah. So I ventured into braided wigs, whereby I only did twists yeah. and braiding. Braiding, I said, is the strand one, mm -hmm. the three, three, le matuta matuta, mm -hmm. and then twisting here, kawaida. Mm -hmm. So basically, I've, uh, I've measured into that mm -hmm. so we have tools like um, you have to have a display mannequin mm -hmm. the head dummy yeah. we have the wig net mm -hmm. we have a crochet mm -hmm. we have the braids in various form mm -hmm. braids are so you can transform all braids mm -hmm. into wigs rasters mm -hmm. the rastafarian one they like the jamaican colors mm -hmm. in fact uh, the year the, the year before the election mm -hmm. we did various colors of the vine uh, the vine what do you call them mm -hmm. Parties. We did Uda, mm -hmm. we did Ubuntu, and wow. we did ODM. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it was a, an all opener because I shared it in the platform, and people were tagging those who are vying. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got inbox. People bought our wigs, went around with them for campaign. Mm -hmm. So it was a good. So with the braids, colors, you can do basically anything. Mm -hmm. So those are the major, major raw materials and tools mm -hmm. that you need when you're doing the wig making. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful! Yes, and there's something that you keep on mentioning, and I want to go into it using social media to market yourself mm -hmm. a lot of people like Mimi if the young one yeah and then everybody also is posting mm. talk to us about marketing using social media for your weeks um, it's, we went digital not so long ago. You remember that guy who was in church who said to me talk analog to me and digital. Mm -hmm. That is the time most of us, as much as we are a bit old, mm -hmm. we started embracing and then the smartphone came. Mm -hmm. So where else would you get the platform? Mm -hmm. And you know, by that time, uh, people had ruined the social media business because people would say ni fake, ni fake, mm -hmm. ni fake. Exactly. So once I would tag mm -hmm. my clients yeah. or I would tag myself or the people who had bought their friends, actually in insurance there's something we rely on call referral and repeat clients. Mm -hmm. So my wigs brought me referrals, referral, referral. If you are referred to by somebody, mm -hmm. be guaranteed that is a direct sale. Mm -hmm. Somebody will come and say, nataka kama ya hule, mm -hmm. lakini kala 133. Mm -hmm. Kama ya hule, lakini 230. Mm -hmm. So for me, Facebook and IG, really worked for me mm -hmm. because I really posted and then I, I basic, uh, the good thing is I had good clients. Most of the clients were my friends and family. Mm -hmm. So I would ask them, market, can I post your photo? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. So mm -hmm. people would see and tag them. Is this you? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So, I, Facebook, if mm. you want your business to go viral, mm. it spreads. Yeah. Anything good spread. Anything mm. bad, social media is the thing, mm. by the way. So, mm. I've invested in that to date. Mm. So, social media has really helped grow in my business that mm. transitioned you know, from a business now to an organization. Mm. And we are still doing the same, same thing, wig making mm. down the line. Mm. Because wow. people still need hair. Mm. Yes. Amazing. Let's track back Kidogo to when you started wig making. It started from YouTube. You started making them, you started selling them. At what point did you transition to now have a bigger group of people you're working with? Mm. And How was it they? seamless or it mm -hmm. had some challenges? Yeah. Whoa, the challenges are there. Mm -hmm. Every business has a challenge. Yeah, true. Because by now, this business came up uh, when I became a mother. Mm -hmm. And you see, number one, the challenges of uh, taking care of this child, mm -hmm. house girls, manenos, you know. Mm -hmm. Once they are there, you have to go deliver a wig. At times it's raining, you have nobody to leave the child with because the other one is, is in school, the father is working. At times you put the child kwa mgongo, wanasonga na yeye, wanafanya delivery. So, uh, as a sole entrepreneur, mm -hmm. at times it becomes a uh, challenge. But mm -hmm. when you transit to partnership and you bring other people on board, mm -hmm. now you can delegate and people have uh, different roles to play. Mm -hmm. So number one, that was the challenge number one, how to transit from a sole proprietor mm -hmm. to a partnership proprietorship. Mm -hmm. Then trust issues because mm -hmm. somebody would pocket money mm -hmm. being being paid. Mm -hmm. By then I did not, the only pay bill was there, mm -hmm. the, uh, the pay bill thing introduced. So somebody would get paid, disappears and disappears completely. Wow. Yeah. They are waiting for the client. So that one introduced, people had to pay directly mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. half the money, deposit. You mm -hmm. have to pay deposit, I get the raw materials, then the other half after I've completed uh, my work, mm -hmm. you pay. Mm -hmm. So those are the bit challenges. At times the, the dollar mm -hmm. would affect the raw materials being shipped mm -hmm. where we would get them from mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So this time round we will buy a material maybe at 250 bob. Mm -hmm. The next time your supply is telling you, dollar may panda, we are shipping things uh, very expensive, it's 500. What? Yet the client had booked the wig with the previous price. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a negative on your side and you don't want to hike mm -hmm. because you are told the client uh, but by now the costs have gone high. Mm -hmm. So you can't increase and tell them it's four thousand, you're going to lose them. Sure. So next time you just tell them, uh, next time to ongeza because that's how we have economy in a fanya nini and to peleka. So those are the challenges of getting a negative in a business. Mm -hmm. But you have to sustain them. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to keep going. Wow. Yes. Staying afloat amidst all these challenges. You have to. And I know uh, because as you had mentioned earlier. Nowadays, it's a little bit flooded. How are you dealing with competition and also the fact that people keep wanting new, new things mm -hmm. every now and then? Uh, so we transisted, though Lusa wig is still there. There are mm -hmm. some people who call me directly and I make the wigs uh, to them, mm -hmm. for them. So we transitioned to an organization. So the organization is a community-based organization that serves so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a guest in MBCI before when we were doing a cancer campaign, mm -hmm. the breast cancer campaign, mm -hmm. whereby we have women who are undergoing chemotherapy and radiotherapy mm -hmm. where they lose their hair. Mm -hmm. That is called alopecia due to cancer. Mm -hmm. So we target the patients nowadays. Mm -hmm. We get well wishers. We're in partnership with the Kenya Medical Association, KMA Nakuru Division, mm -hmm. where they buy the wings from us. We give them to the patients. Mm -hmm. So we can even give, like January we gave, February we gave 100 patients. So wow. those are 100 clients mm -hmm. confined in one area. Mm -hmm. So that is how we will manage to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. Because even personally, I can't do 100 weeks. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I need these other women, who are women with disability, mm -hmm. that we do the work together. We train for free, mm -hmm. as we had trained previously during COVID. Mm -hmm. So we train the women for free. Mm -hmm. And then with the doctors by the week, these women get something to take home. and. Uh, the wigs are distributed like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So that's how we have managed to stay afloat in terms of maybe in uh, CSR mm -hmm. through the organization. Mm -hmm. But when I get direct clients, I do them or I refer them to most of the, my women mm -hmm. and then I pay them or I connect them with the client. They do the wigs and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what other partners do you have while you work on the making of the wigs? 
Um, we have the buyers, mm -hmm. like now the Kenya Medical Association, mm -hmm. and uh, definitely the consumers, who in this case are the patients. Mm -hmm. We have to have the patients. Um, those are our major, major partners. Mm -hmm. But in the process, we have had partners who are engaging in social economic empowerment through organizations mm -hmm. who come and train our women more because we pay them. Mm -hmm. So they have, like banks, yeah? mm -hmm. they have to come, open account, know how to maintain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have the, we are partnered with Ajira Digital who come and show them how to market their products online. Mm -hmm. So we have various partners who have come along. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And, and how do you stay updated with the latest trends that are happening when it comes especially to wig making? Jisezi, I think everyone mm -hmm. has a wig somewhere. I have a bad hair day. I have a nice suit. I have a wig. I'm good to so, go. How do you stay updated? For every um, bad hair day. Actually, our slogan in Lusa wig is mm -hmm. slay in a minute. Mm -hmm. You can transform within a minute. Mm -hmm. Just like this, you put on a wig, and you are slaying. Yeah. So that's our main slogan, slay in a minute. Mm -hmm. So I keep updated with the trend. Mm -hmm. YouTube, YouTube, IG. Nowadays, this uh, social media has become so clogged with everything that mm -hmm. if you miss one style, yeah. you're out of the market. Mm -hmm. So I keep updated. But again, I have clients who are very good. They send me. Mm -hmm. I've seen this. Can you make it? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. If it's something that is, can be done with the braids and the latest hair, because like the hair have really transformed. The only thing that has remained constant in the braid. Mm -hmm. I'm sure even our kids will get the rasta. Mm -hmm. So rasta is only how you transform it mm -hmm. to become a wig. Mm -hmm. But uh, the curly ones, like I can see like this one for faith, mm -hmm. this one can also be transformed into a wig. Mm -hmm. And there's some, it's another one we call a pineapple wig. In fact, I thought it was one, because mm -hmm. this is the exact style mm -hmm. for a pineapple. We do it like that. Mm -hmm. So they are coming. So the more they bring the hair, mm -hmm. the more we also evolve with them. Mm -hmm. We transform those hair. We have to be updated, mm -hmm. even in the market. Sure. Yes. So that is just basically how we, mm -hmm. we are on toes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, okay. in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing like bad hair day. No, no. So you have that wig, you just put it on and you slay, slay in a minute. Yes. Considering the first thing that we look at when we look at faces, it's mm -hmm. the hair. The hair, it's there. So it's a cruiser too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. And uh, you you talking, I feel I should start mm -hmm. making it. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> Were there challenges that came and you felt like, wait, this project, e challenge, <sighs> I surrender. Yeah, uh, challenges kusangi kwa kila biashara, mm. by the way. Uh, because uneza tumia client, picture, anezona picture, mm -hmm. umtumia the exact thing, but kumbia tepelekani na facial shape yake mm -hmm. at that point. Anakurudishi, anataka pesa zangu. Mm -hmm. So before number one, you have to convince that client. Maybe mm -hmm. you know, I wish to get a color number mm -hmm. in a good way. Yeah. Alternatively, at times, mm -hmm. f for the sake of your business and for the sake of your name and for the sake of tomorrow's referral, mm -hmm. so such, such wigs is the ones that I pick at times. Mm -hmm. When somebody calls you out of nowhere, are you the one who is the one who is wig na mimi ni mgonjwa nini unaipeana. Ule ulirudisha pesa, hii wig nayo umerudisha. Like there's a friend who had deposited mm -hmm. uh, half of the deposit of the wigs mm -hmm. and then she had just given birth i think the baby was seven months old mm -hmm. a good friend of mine went together in high school mm -hmm. then down the line she didn't know she had complicated mm -hmm. complications after the pregnancy mm -hmm. she passed on when i was doing her wig oh, wow. she passed on i cried my heart out pale homage to kianda kumto in fact, most of my friends begin when I'm drunk. Mm. I cry. In fact, I was just screenshotting our last conversation. I post on Facebook. Oh. Your hair is almost done. Mm. Now you are lying there in the cold room. Mm -hmm. I called the sister. I sent the screenshot and I told her. Now she had paid this. I'm going to give all the money back mm -hmm. because that's a inuel. Nitaisho katuna ni patni transit kwa kwa patient. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect. So that one, in fact, opened my eye. Mm. I work with haste. Mm -hmm. If I'm giving in an order, I give people maximum three days. Mm -hmm. So long as you pay the deposit, sure. within three days, mm -hmm. you'll have your hair. Yeah. Maximum, you're going to fix what we're going to do. 
even we distribute the labor because our social I didn't expect sure. within a week mm -hmm. this one has just left a seven year old baby mm -hmm. and she's gone. Mm -hmm. I mean the last transaction you're seeing is basically almost a week. Mm -hmm. Now the person is no longer there. Mm -hmm. So that has been my worst challenge to deal with business, knowing that any time anything can happen. So I work with haste completely. Mm -hmm. Yes. That mm -hmm. has been my major challenge. Wow. wow. But either it has taught you a lesson. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. My, my. Must be painful. Mm -hmm. Very considering uh, what how that turned out. And uh, huh, what would you say? Um, what would you? Hey, ni me back here for What is most rewarding when it comes to wig creation for you after you've created that wig? It has come out as a very nice product. Mm -hmm. How how do you feel after that? Um, allow me to read from the book of. Corinthians, so that mm -hmm. I had prepared that verse because it is in the Bible mm -hmm. about here. So it says, First Corinthians, mm -hmm. eleven fifteen. That mm -hmm. is the King James version. Mm -hmm. But if a woman have long hair, mm -hmm. it is a glory to her, mm -hmm. for her hair is given for her covering. Mm -hmm. So if a woman has hair, it is a glory to her. Mm -hmm. So my satisfaction is when these women are slain. Mm -hmm. There's something about here, even it is biblical. Actually, mm -hmm. when uh, I was thinking of coming to this show, mm -hmm. I was just thinking, what, what does the Bible connect with here? We have mm -hmm. to cover ourselves at times when in church, mm -hmm. but after that, mm -hmm. we are ready, we, we are we have to show our hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is why we redeem these cancer patients because it's a it's a feeling of nakedness. Mm -hmm. At least for the breast attack, we have also those fake boobies nobody can know. Mm -hmm. But for the hair, mm -hmm. once you are bald, yeah. everybody can. And, see. Sure. and that uh, gives you a stem, uh, self esteem. Mm -hmm. So we have to glorify ourselves as women. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a satisfaction that you can slay any time with that hair. No, na feel any kabisa. Mimi ni manamke. Yes, identity yetu inakuanga nywele all through. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes. Ah, that is good. Mm -hmm. I just, I can just imagine mm -hmm. when you see someone walking and you, I did this, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are slaying yeah. and feeling, oh, this is good. Yes. Customer feedback. I know sometimes dealing with ladies is mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. What is this? Where were we? Where were we? I know. 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 I uh, like for the hair that we usually export, yeah? mm -hmm. mostly in Australia, yeah. their color is tof totally different from our colors here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even if you use the color charts, mm -hmm. I have to try and blend in the colors mm -hmm. that they find in their country mm -hmm. with the Kenyan country. Mm -hmm. But now what happened, uh, I found a friend who is also Kenyan mm -hmm. from Nakuru, na anelewa easy colors. Mm -hmm. So convincing the white there about the colors, it mm -hmm. became easy. But the first feedback was our colors don't blend with Bazungu, mm -hmm. you know, and they love this wig. So mm -hmm. what do we do? So we try and complement whatever they have there mm -hmm. and something similar close mm -hmm. to what we have here so that we can satisfy them mm -hmm. as they need, you know, mm -hmm. because they would see this lady, she's an ass there with something like one, nine, one nine hundred, yeah? Mm -hmm. One nine hundred nearly called black na kama hi. we call it size eight color, nine hundred is size eight. Mm -hmm. But because she's dark, in a blend with Zurisa na color yake, mm -hmm. but Mzungu Kivayo 1900, mm -hmm. ako off. Mm -hmm. So Mzungu wana prefer number one. Ama ile gold, gold ina do the Caucasian hair in her. Mm -hmm. So to get that gold, it's almost number 27, kitu shiny, mm -hmm. do inam compliment. So we appreciate such feedback, especially from our clients from abroad. Mm -hmm. um, clients from here, some would tell me, hey, kikitu ni mzito sana, it's too bulky. Mm -hmm. So at that point, unajua, ayakuwa nataka ijazwe. Mm -hmm. Na ikija, ni mzito. <laughs> na uli mwambia, saki kujaza sana, because <laughs> bread ni mzito, tu kushuka yeah. breads nane mm -hmm. kwa kichwa ni mzito. Sure. Yeah. Asama pana, me ni weke hizo na nawambia, six would do. You know, it's just a net mm -hmm. transformed into hair. Ni kama kichwa yako tu shuke braids kumi. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Mm -hmm. The same thing to this net. Sasa we unaongeza mpaka juu. Mm -hmm. So, such feedbacks, mm -hmm. muna kwa ruzananga kidogo mm -hmm. until anenda 
kuna wale wazuri watakuja wakwambia hii kitu ni hevi toatoa mm. ama aende akisema ngao ule shona kitu mbaya ilikuwa mzito attempts you don't need to argue mm. with a client yeah. though i don't believe in they say that the client is always right because you have advised mm -hmm. accordingly so there are some people who will just come test the waters go mm -hmm. there are some who will come stay some will come correct you mm -hmm. and you move so it's just a face who not just to na venye wana come because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a client to somebody I might be a stubborn client mm -hmm. I might be a good client I might be so unaenda tu adjust na venye clients wamekuja na feedback oh wow yes wow. and uh, when it comes to uh, the wig making umetuambia you don't take a max you don't take more than 3 days to make it mm -hmm. now can you take us through the process of someone who wants to order a wig from you what do they what do they what are the steps so that they can get it okay, okay so uh, there is a, the approach number one because mm -hmm. we are there in the internet yeah. somebody just approach you are you the one who's making this braided wig mm -hmm. share with me the photos that you have mm -hmm. i'm never scared of sharing my photos because i know mm -hmm. even if they pick and go and duplicate there mm -hmm. here's kwa kama venye mimi najua nashuka oh, because wow. there are some people who come kukupimba tu mm -hmm. hi hiyo ni 6k hey no i know a cheaper what you have seen the meme mm -hmm. i have a cheaper engineer yeah, cheaper. yeah <laughs> i know a cheaper one so please go yeah, please. within no time <laughs> they come back aki wig imeanza kutoboka toboka ni kama ile nilikuwa nataka lakini nilitumwa na mtu nilirefa nili, nili, yona sasa angu sasa amejichuja hapo mm -hmm. she is not at fault kaambia mm -hmm. now we'll have to stop if you don't do repairs i mean how do you repair a week mbci television transforming lives Rohi Church in conjunction with Naivasha Pastors Forum invites all to a Healing My People conference hosted by Reverend Githere and Pastor Susan and co-hosted by Reverend John Gatia, Chairman of Naivasha Pastors Forum. The conference will start on 14th April to 21st April 2024 and the venue will be at Naivasha County Council A Estate next to Hobra. The main guest speaker will be Reverend Jonathan Olesena, Bishop Jimmy Wando, Apostle Othiel Mwambili, Bishop Moses Mbugwa, Dr. Lucy Nganga, Bishop Albert Naitera, Pastor T Mwangi among many others. The conference will start with morning glory, mid-morning sessions, lunch hour and revival meetings. Saturdays will be special covered with workshops for teens, youth, men and women tunaituma ama tunakutumia mm -hmm. so number one you approach us we tell you you tell us what you want mm -hmm. we tell you what we have mm -hmm. we agree on the business mm -hmm. on the amount mm -hmm. you pay half mm -hmm. we give you three days maximum after three days i send you the wig or you come and fit unaona kama iko sawa we to adjust but very rare do we get them back mm -hmm. for adjustment or anything mm -hmm. so because it's a free to wear there's something we call a band we put them here mm -hmm. it's a free to wear mm -hmm. so and then we send mm -hmm. we wait for the feedback wow wow yeah. that is very very amazing guys remember today we're talking about wig making and with us here we have sofia we're going to take a quick break right here at uh, lifestyle does this but we're coming right back so make sure you send us your feedback uh, on whatsapp zero seven two one one zero five one zero five and also a normal text message and our short code two three eight one four which is absolutely free and also mbci tv facebook we are live and mbci tv official youtube we are live tell us what are you learning so far from this conversation don't go too far we'll be coming right back after this very 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 short break awesome. mbci television transforming lives Rohi Church in conjunction with Naivasha Pastors Forum invites all to a Healing My People conference hosted by Reverend Githere and Pastor Susan and co-hosted by Reverend John Gatia, Chairman of Naivasha Pastors Forum. The conference will start on 14th April to 21st April 2024 and the venue will be at Naivasha County Council A Estate next to Hobra. The main guest speaker will be Reverend Jonathan Olesena, Bishop Jimmy Wando, Apostle Othiel Mwambili, Bishop Moses Mbugwa, Dr. Lucy Nganga, Bishop Albert Naitera, Pastor T Mwangi among many others. The conference will start with morning glory, mid-morning sessions, lunch hour and revival meetings. Saturdays will be special covered with workshops for teens, youth, men and women. The theme verse is Jeremiah 8:21-22. Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I moan and horror grips me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? 
Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? For more information, you can call 0722-813-178 or 0722-435-150. All are welcome in Jesus' name. Greetings everybody, my name is Pastor Solomon Silla. This is Minister Derek Mouth, all the way from 255. Unfortunate email. Mm. So find your uniqueness because we've ended up creating fan base mm. instead of ministers. Mm. So one voice, it was like, no, just stay there. Mm. Another voice was like, no, just come, just come, just come, just come. You, you, mm. you watching right now, mm. you have to acknowledge the good in you yeah. in Christ because mm. God has no ability to create anything bad. Mm. Hey, Dad, good to catch up with you. I'm Fortune Ebel from Nigeria. Join us this Friday on Rouse's Show. <laughs> Kingdom Seekers Fellowship Nakuru invites you to a Powerfield Ladies Conference 2024 from the 23rd to the 26th of April. Hosted by Reverend Naomi Kemani and Apostle John Kemani Willie. Know that you have power, my sister, my brother. Ata kama kuna hali zinanena kinyume, ukona kubu, ukona mamlaka. This is a divine opportunity to immerse yourself in sessions filled with wisdom, encouragement, and revelations. Guest speakers include Reverend Sami Mahoya, self neglect imewa watuweki kuliko saitani. Reverend Jacqueline Mwando, katika true foundation ya salvation, there is transformation. Reverend Miriam Gedenji, kitutotote kizuri, kinatokanga kwa mungu. Prophetess Winnie Andrew, but our time comes, you shout. And Pastor Julia Karanja, don't give up. The theme for this year's conference is birthing God's purpose. Drawn from Isaiah 66 verse 8. Music ministers will be Pastor Antho, and Minister Magidon. The venue for this conference is the Harvest Cathedral, Nakuru. As we come together in fellowship, please remember to bring your bed sheets and personal effects. We'll provide the blanket. To reserve your spot, register at www.mbcimissions.com slash ladies. For the beef, mm -hmm. we won't go so heavy with our spices. Mm -hmm. So to start with just black pepper. Okay, it's enough. Yeah, black but, pepper. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have to do a heavy marination. Sababu ni nyamachoma, we want to get the taste of the meat. Hautaki oh, uweke marination mingi, nasikia spices, lakini usikia ile ladha ya nyama. Yeah, nyama. Oh, yeah. okay. So kila marination ya hii mixed grill, itakuwa tofauti. Nini ya hii itakuwa na testi yake. Itakuwa na testi yake. Our beef, itakuwa na testi yake. Yeah. Our chicken, itakuwa na testi yake. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think so. So this is now nyamachoma mixed, mixed grill. grill. Yeah. Na pia tukona spinach zetu. Spinach zetu. So na zisava hapo. Hapo tu na awa ugari. So, so na ugari za full meal. Yes. But we see it's creativity in meal preparation. This is what we mean. MBCI Television. Transforming Lives. Yes, welcome back guys. Remember, this is Lifestyle Thursdays with me, Sylvia Wanja. And Faith Mwewa. Yes, mm -hmm. amazing. And remember guys, we are talking about wig making and we are here with Sophie, who is taking us through the process of wig making. Now, uh, what... In a minute. 
I like uh -huh. it. That one is it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a bad hair day, please, Fortilia Hapa. Mm. You know, I remember there was a time when I had natural hair. This is how I used to do it with a uh -huh. hair extension. And yeah. someone was asking, what can I also do like when I have bad hair day? Nasasa akajaribu, kikaumana. You know, people have oh, different no. types of hairs. Sure. Kuna ile, itakubali gel. Kuna ingine, inakuambia not today. <laughs> try again next yeah, time, you know. Yeah. So, yake limambia try again next time and I call like, you know what, I don't have a solution for bad hair day. Mm. But tumekuletea sulu so kamili. Apa. Mm -hmm. Sawa, sawa. Mm. So, if you have bad hair day, She'll be telling us, before we wind up this show, she'll be telling us how you can reach her if you want to have a wig for that bad hair day. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in your opinion, what is the biggest misconception in your watu wakonayo kusu wigs? Especially Africans. Yeah, mm -hmm. Africans. <laughs> <laughs> um, about wigs, mm -hmm. number one, the male person, mm -hmm. they feel like we are adding something Mm -hmm. to our natural beauty. Mm -hmm. So, because most men will say, ah, no, I prefer when she's just natural, mm -hmm. natural twist like this. Mm -hmm. They don't know a wig is an enhancer. Mm -hmm. It enhances that beauty. Already there. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it's already there. Either I'm having the wig or not, mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. I am beautiful. So, because mm -hmm. most of the men, there was um, like one month ago, mm -hmm. And I'll quote because it was in the public domain. Mm -hmm. There is this famous Wakile Folo called Wahome Thuku, mm -hmm. who, ha, who brought it out there mm -hmm. that uh, women who wear wigs look 40 years older than my mm -hmm. what's doing what oh, I would not prefer. No. There was a very big conversation mm -hmm. about wigs, and people really stormed that post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, at the end of the day, women won definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do not wear <laughs> this wig to make us look old. There are sure. some wigs you'll that's why we slay. Mm -hmm. There are wigs. We call them slain with them. We, we, we were to slay with them. Mm -hmm. So the most the number one the misconception from the male figure, mm -hmm. and I'd want them to understand, mm -hmm. because I don't understand the controversial. Mm -hmm. When my hair has fallen off mm -hmm. and I'm sick mm -hmm. and, and, I'm, and I'm going chemo, mm -hmm. a man will be quick to promote that lady to wear a wig. Mm -hmm. Simple reason because she's sick. Mm -hmm. So that it means they realize this hair for a woman mm -hmm. is the, it's, it's a beauty mm -hmm. and this woman needs hair. Yeah. But when I'm not sick and my hair is it, but I just need to feel like I have to change my style mm -hmm. and I put on a wig, it becomes an issue at Ninakua, Nina Jizayesha. Mm -hmm. No, so it can't be a double standard. When I'm sick, I can wear a wig. When I'm not sick, I, can, I, can, I can't wear a wig. Mm -hmm. No. So the misconception out there is wig si ya kufanya mtu wa zeke. Mm. No, it is to enhance our beauty. Mm. Just like we put the lip gloss, mm. just like the men when wana nenevi mikono yao, wakioga pengine wana jipaka lotion mm. if, if they do. Mm -hmm. So that is number one misconception. Number two, mm. uh, currently I was doing a project about braiding. Mm. Then in the research, I found out that um, actually Brady did not originate from Africans. Mm -hmm. But the misconception is mm -hmm. that uh, African took over mm -hmm. the breeding. Mm -hmm. Breeding originated from the ancient people. I think it was in Egypt mm -hmm. or somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, they were called like in a Napoleon, those two white wigs that were killed wear. In fact, it's mm -hmm. called a wig. Mm -hmm. The ones that when they are being sworn into the bench, yeah, yeah. it's called a wig, mm -hmm. the white one. Yeah. So it originated back then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only that Africans were good with what we do, so yeah. we take it up mm -hmm. and we have sidelined the white people thinking that mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't have a right to wear wigs. Mm -hmm. It actually the project, there was, such, there, there was a statement I found that it was written, mm -hmm. braiding is not a racial issue. Mm -hmm. It is for everybody. Yeah, braiding sure. is not a racial issue. So mm -hmm. uh, that is a misconception because we are black. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. Wazungu, they know how to do the strands yeah. and everything, and they also wear wigs. Mm -hmm. So that is another misconception. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one depends on maintainers because what we're going to say, wig in a nook, in a nook. At Okisonga weave, it's all a personal thing. Mm -hmm. Wig, wig, nuki. Yeah. I can tell you for free. Mm -hmm. Six years ago, mm -hmm. I've been brought back the wigs I made for people and give them to the patient, and they look as new as they were. Mm -hmm. Maintainers, mm -hmm. because even at one is a maintained breed, kwa kwa yeah. So that aspect of at the wig is smelling, so just smelling mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. It's all a personal thing. Kama we see msafi, kubali. But with our wigs, mm -hmm. it is easy to maintain. Ni braid for Christ's sake. Ikinyashewa, paka conditioner, paka mafuta, shin it, wache kai inje kidogo. 
you know, okay, it bounces back. Mm. It's very simple maintenance. Wow. So those are some of the misconceptions that people should try and uh, adjust. Now, what one to na Now we get there, they have been there, to Taziacha, na zitaendelea to kukua. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. And another one I know a lot of people say, kuna watu ni na favor wigs. Mm -hmm. Kuna wengine uso zawa zi yeah. What would you tell someone who wants to buy wigs for a first time, first timers? Um, we are all different, yeah? Mm -hmm. Number one. Yeah. You can be shoe number three, shoe number four, shoe number five. Mm -hmm. So, whatever I'm wearing will not fit you, but you have your also what can fit you. Mm -hmm. um, there is, kuna wig, like now the one Faith is wearing, mm -hmm. the ones we make in Chaco Pineapple, mm -hmm. it's for what we're going to fall ahead. I don't know if she has one or not. How would you? It's there. Oh, you see. In fact, I thought it was a pineapple wig. You can go and check out the pineapple wig you're talking about. So, such a wig, ni watu nyo kona nini, wako naka fall ahead hapa. Yeah, inafunika tu hapa. So, different structures. Niki kuangale tu imitajua ahuyu. Si tampatia by the way, push back or anything. So, different facial structures. At a body size, in a matter. Kuna kazi ile tunajitanga as a shebesh, you know, like Moshima shebesh used to wear mm, those yeah. bulky bulky mm. in a coin hands on a car, at least mkubwa mm. kiasi uko na kase mm -hmm. so it depends in when you tell me a picture ako nataka uh, if it was your first time because we usually get first timers and it, ah, me, I'm scared, mm -hmm. itaniumiza ni nzito, nita sweat, mm -hmm. nitafanya nini, yeah. mi nataka nini, so but we have a disclaimer, we don't do wigs for old women mm -hmm. area age, za mama zetu, ama nini, because kunajua that age of menopause and everything Mm -hmm. It can be itchy, sweaty. No, it's taking the issue. Issue can you le? I'm trying to complain. Oh, he had my mango shingo. I'll go on allergy. I'll go on any. So our wigs are for a defined age. Mm -hmm. We do not go overboard. But there are those who do it. Mm -hmm. But personally, for me mm -hmm. and myself, because I tried once with my mother. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> So the immediate feedback I got, I knew if this is one, mm -hmm. it will replicate to so many. Mm -hmm. uh, and doesn't mean that these women don't wear wigs. Our mothers do. But watch a kila mtu wake kwa leni yake. Let me deal with the style, that, with, the, with the age that we can have good feedback. Mm -hmm. Na it is fast moving because she'll just wear for an occasion. Mm -hmm. I rushe uko, ate kumbuka three years later kwen kuna rusi or anything. Mm -hmm. So I want a recurring business. Mm -hmm. So for us, we don't do wigs for old mamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with all due respect. We yeah. identify our niche mm. and we stick to that mm. yes mm. you figured out which uh, where your biggest clientele is yes yes wow. and the big, biggest clientele is between which range? um you can say 18 mm -hmm. eh? when these girls know themselves mm -hmm. mostly university transiting 20 21 mm -hmm. and then 40 45 up mm -hmm. before menopause hits properly yeah. and this is the right this is the age where we usually have that bad bad hair day mm -hmm. and then between 25 to 35 or 40 is when most women are giving birth mm -hmm. and they don't have time for hair. One mm -hmm. woman, a maternity break, your hair is whew. so they are also our main target. Mm -hmm. A wig, you can just jump into one wig because I've experienced that with one wig. Mm -hmm. With a wig, Nachua wig, Nava clinic, Rudy Home running errands here and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I still slay in a minute mm -hmm. as I take the baby to the clinic. Mm -hmm. So that is also our niche. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can have the how I chill to up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and what you just say is the future of wig making for for those who are getting into the art, because as you can earlier, just as Faith had shared, mm -hmm. there's so many people who are now making wigs. Mm -hmm. It's now the in thing when it comes to businesses. Mm -hmm. So what will you say is the future of wig making? Um, wig making is, um, is a recycling business. Mm -hmm. It is a constant business. We are living in the future that was done previous, the past. Mm -hmm. So currently, I'm living in the future of wig making. Mm -hmm. So there's a feature that will come for an entrepreneur who would want to start now. Mm -hmm. Six years down the line, they will be telling a story of what happened 12 years back. Mm -hmm. Like I'm giving a story of six years ago. Mm -hmm. So wig making, I'm already living in the future. The mm -hmm. future is there. And if you want to start, mm -hmm. hair is a recycling business. There is beauty, mm -hmm. there is food business, mm -hmm. there is a shelter business. Business, the basic needs, yeah? and the basic needs may put beauty, hair and beauty. Mm -hmm. And all the basic needs, you need education, you need food, you need shelter, mm -hmm. you need health, hair and beauty. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, 
everybody needs that. Either by the time you are going down six feet under, there's a mutation, there's a mutation who will do the beauty process on you. Mm -hmm. So it is a recurring circle. So if you want to start, mm -hmm. it's never the end. Some mm -hmm. of us have small babies who are girls. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm retiring, yeah. my daughter will be wearing wigs. Mm -hmm. By the time she's uh, a grown-up who will have maybe another daughter, mm -hmm. she'll still... So her dressing business is a recurring. So there is no... I'm living in the future. So there's no future. Start now. Mm -hmm. And then you'll talk about your past when you'll be living in your future in this business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But starting now. Start now. Saving. Yes. I know you're doing other projects and even as, you, as you'll be sharing with us some of the projects that you are looking forward to having, is one that you mentioned about the cancer patient. Mm -hmm. uh, how can a person get those uh, wigs for their sisters mm -hmm. or their mothers who are having their hair fallen off? Um, <clears throat> we have been doing this project since 2021. Mm -hmm. And um, we usually give twice in a year. Mm -hmm. We have we, 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 this uh, February, which is the Cancer Prevention Month, mm -hmm. whereby it's just like an alert month. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let us work on the prevention methods where we have vaccinations. The doctors call them the HPV vaccinations, mm -hmm. which are given to girls. Uh, from the age of 10 years to mm -hmm. prevent cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. And then we have the major hype of breast cancer that is usually in October, mm -hmm. breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So we give twice in a year. Mm -hmm. So for now we are planning for October. Mm -hmm. And each and every time the clientele have increased mm -hmm. because uh, under PGH they are serving the Narok, Bomet County, so many patients come here. Mm -hmm. So we get the data, then it's presented to us, we do a proposal, mm -hmm. we see the number of clients who are in need, mm -hmm. then from there we start making them mm -hmm. based on the, what KMA can afford mm -hmm. to buy from us. Mm -hmm. So anybody who is watching there and is a cancer patient who mm -hmm. has undergone alopecia, mm -hmm. I'll give my contact. Mm -hmm. You can contact me directly or mm -hmm. through where you go for your treatment mm -hmm. because we usually get the most need people from the oncology block at mm -hmm. PGH yeah. and we give them for free. So I don't know if I can give the number right now. Yes, you can share the number and also social media platforms for those who might want to buy a wig, whether for a cancer patient mm -hmm. or just just so that we can sleep. Okay. Also for those who would want to donate, are you free? Are you ready to receive yes, donations? Yes, 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 yes. I've, be, I've just been saying that we have been recycling the, for the, the ones we've been doing for six years. Yeah, mm -hmm. they come back. So it's 0785. This mm -hmm. is our you WhatsApp number. Mm -hmm. 0785 mm -hmm. uh, 663100. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can call WhatsApp or text me. Mm -hmm. It will come to me directly. Yeah. And then we have Lusa Wigs on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then we have Women in Society Empowerment Organization, yeah. OIS in bracket, mm -hmm. CBO. In uh, Facebook also. Mm -hmm. So if you want to donate the wig also between yeah. now and February, mm -hmm. kindly you are welcome. But bring us good quality wigs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. we, we, you give somebody what you can also wear. To pay an angia to wigs and you zimecha pama zimechoka. No, because we make from the start. Mm -hmm. For those who are donating, even for the synthetic or human hair, mm -hmm. we usually encourage those ones because we rarely make those ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage those types of wigs for the elderly women who are undergoing a lot. Mm -hmm. Because for us, braid wigs sana sana zina konga za wasi chana wadogo bao pado ni wagonjwa na waneza afford the long, to maintain long hairstyles, you know. Mm -hmm. So for the weaves and the uh, human hair weaves which have been transformed to wigs, mm -hmm. we also accept them as donation. Mm -hmm. So kindly you can reach me mm -hmm. between now and October because we don't have yet the data of how many patients we are supposed to share. Mm -hmm. Yes, and how the function is going to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that is very, very amazing. I don't know why when we have interesting conversation, time just flies. Because right now I'm being told like time is almost gone. <laughs> and there's still so much that we wanted to ask. But I think the most important things we have covered. Mm -hmm. And we really, really appreciate you taking your time to be here with us today and teaching us about wigs. And these wigs, before in just like 30 seconds, what are the materials used to make these uh, wigs? You've talked about braids. And what about the, the other ones, the semi-human hair? What, what synthetic materials are used to make them? Uh, one thing is constant when you're making the wig you need the net yeah. mm -hmm. the wig net mm -hmm. the wig net is there So the raw materials are either the braids mm -hmm. the weaves mm -hmm. We buy weaves eh? mm -hmm. and then for the human hair yeah. because it comes there are so many types of human hair mm -hmm. So we also get the human hair mm -hmm. and then we transform them mm -hmm. So you can have a single pattern something yeah. you call here to here mm -hmm. the frontal bit or the 360 mm -hmm. So it depends with what the the client wants mm -hmm. so what we do because 
because we are basically doing wigs uh, through braids. Mm -hmm. When a client wants us to transform their weaves mm -hmm. into wigs, mm -hmm. we ask them to come with their own raw materials. Mm -hmm. So that in case, was a rude kutuambia, yeah, you'll go fake and you'll know, go buy, bring, I'll do the, uh, the hands, the hands on. I'll sew for you everything, but I will not be, I will not buy. Mm -hmm. Yes. But okay. what they bring, we'll do for them. Mm -hmm. yes. Amazing, oh, wow. amazing, amazing. Wow. wow. So um, that brings us to the end of uh, the show today. I hope you have learned something about wig making. And uh, yeah, we say uh, being informed is very important because I've had some particular uh, misconceptions out I there know. about wigs that are not very pleasant. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping now that you have, uh, we have had this conversation, you now understand what wigs are all about. You see, Padam Tunaugu collect, we don't have a wig. Hadji wig in front. Navy, 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 Navy. And also, please, for those of us who've been disappointed in the past, yeah. I've heard her say, mm -hmm. "Your face, your face, the shape of your face." Yeah. When you are quite disappointed because they fast, so ah yeah, but this line looks good on hers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't, you don't, you don't like you consider yeah. your face shape okay. and also your skin color. Yeah. Is, okay, that is amazing. Wow. So are we going to get chic and style? Uh, but for the conversation today, that's the end. I hope you have learned something important. Let's get chic and style so that we can know what uh, is happening on that other side. We'll be coming right back. a very popular athletic shoes and they are designed for running and jogging. They offer features such as cushioning, stability and support to reduce the impact on the feet and prevent injuries. Running shoes come in various types including neutral, stability and motion control, catering to different food types and running style. They a crucial role in providing support, comfort, stability and performance enhancement for various physical activities and sports, whether you're running, training, playing basketball, soccer or engaging in any other athletic pursuits, the right pair of shoes can make a significant difference in your performance, comfort and injury prevention. By understanding the key features and considerations outlined above, you can make informed decisions when selecting athletic shoes tailored to your individual needs and activities. This right here is Chic and Style. My name is Sylvia Wanjar. Bye. <music>
<laughs> Please, wow. guys, wow. Let, we can do something about it. We have given you a variety, variety of shoes to choose from, sure. depending on the occasion. Mm -hmm. Whether any dress shoes you're going for a formal occasion, mm -hmm. or you're going to work every day. Whether it's uh, the dress up, uh, the dress the, shoes, the dress shoes, and no, the, the, the formal ones, and mm -hmm. casual shoes mm -hmm. when you're going for everyday errands that you want to run, maybe shopping, maybe a walk. Mm -hmm. If you're going hiking to Lepe, mm -hmm. to Lepedi, uh, boots to mm -hmm. wear when you're going hiking. Usiende na sleep-ons, uende kwa nguoka uko juu. Imagine kwa mamawe huko. Eh, we, you lose a limb ama uvunjike juu ya. Mm. Please, mm. make sure you pay attention to that. Now to talk about Kirudi, sasa kwa the ladies. Oh, ladies. Yes, next week. Baka nimesikia someone asking, eh, si... Simen, I'm a favored sana kwa shake and stir. We are sorry. Thank you so much for telling us you'll be coming back. Because we're like, oh, we, we are about to riot. <laughs> I am sorry for we doing that, ladies. <laughs> but we really, really had to help this chance. Mm. We, need, we needed to work together. We needed to collaborate sure. together to help each other. Mm. Uh, sort that issue out. For us guys, we only have, we, we're not spoiled for options like ladies. True. We only have two pairs to pick from. Since I've mm. proven to you, it's not just two pairs. There are many. There are so many it's sure. up to you to chagua exactly no yeah. quick keen enough yeah taka kujua what more is there considering mm -hmm. a lot of men yeah go on a pull your excuse mm -hmm. when they just want to put on slip on mm -hmm. for hikes for official things everything but now you know mm -hmm. there are several exactly have one for each mm -hmm. or two for each yeah and then depending on your ability yeah and also remember to also take care of them make mm -hmm. sure they're clean same case wigs <laughs> <laughs> oh yes oh Kunuka. yes i've remembered a couple of videos oh I'm yes <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady and I get a wig now. What kill I'm to have baby? I'm like, where? I'm a woman of the year, the richer the woman's painting. They're losing. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I think it all comes down to maintenance. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you have, you mm -hmm. need to maintain it. Beach, we have to. We have to, we don't maintain shoes. Mm -hmm. They can embarrass you. Kabisa. Bibasana, you go to some place, maybe you're traveling. Alafu upate kwa yo nyumba ni tiles. Watu wa ingina we have to. Mandatory. Hmm? Iyo wakati, lando liba. Una kwa milia inje, people are like, umbini ni mba inje. Are you praying for why, us outside? Eh, why are you not coming in? Kumbe. Hey, you want to do okito your kiatu? Probably heko meka uka vizuri. Everyone is on the floor. On the I floor. know. <laughs> Ama ivi wenye kumeko kikinyesha. Kwanza sisi during this rainy period, this rainy season, I'm imagining uh, ume ume nyeshewa. Sema kwa na slippers. Let me give an example with slippers. Most oh, of the time. Oh please stop. The material ya juu ina kuanga. Yeah. Canvas, canvas. You mm -hmm. know, like itu ina absorb magic. Bah. So I'm imagining ume ndo menye shewa tsema umeenda kuruka pothole mahali mguu imeingia maji imeingia kidogo alafu iko imevaliwa siku tatu before hiyo ingie kwa maji exactly mm -hmm. ufike nayo home ujue bado kuna nyesha so mm -hmm. before we get to the next morning haitakuwa imekauka au jorosha socks uvai socks chafu alafu ongeze hiyo kiatu tu ni lidipi ndani ya maji nafika kwa ofisi hey. and you're like karibu sana eh huko huko tunatoanga kiatu juu ya juu ya juu ya carpet ha ha <laughs> Now, when I get killed, I'm talking like, where? Who you are metoka wap? Where has this one come from? Because, but I I love this fact about men. They are always honest with themselves. Yeah. Taito akando ulize bro. Why are you embarrassing us? Mejoma. 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 Don't do this again. Yeah. So after all, have several for each. Yeah. Choose what's comfortable for you. Exactly. And also what is affordable. Mm-hmm. And have as many as you can. Yeah. Niliskia ile time. Reva kisema have as many as. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have as many. If you know, you know. Yeah. Have as many shoes and socks and handkerchiefs as you. So mm. make sure you make sure you do that. We're just quoting words that were said. By the way, yes, yes. We're just quoting what was said. <laughs> I know. Not what we said. Mm. But it made a lot of sense. Make sure, sure you have as many as you can. We can at least we're limit to a million, you need to have twenty, mm -hmm. about ten, depending on your ability to mm. have them. Mm. But at least have a couple. Several. Okay, that you can 
badilisha okay, up kidogo mm -hmm. okay especially at during some uh, kama size vile mvo inaonyesha mm -hmm. how can you have one yeah how? inakuwa tricky yeah hata inajua inakuweka ina fix juu yeah. you really probably don't have any other choice you mm -hmm. really want to wear clean shoes but since you're not spoiled for options na kama hakuna so, mm. god ataleta yeah he will know how to do it by the way exactly because um, some i know like ni suatete mbona ni watete anyway Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> have several. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, next week we're going to tackle uh, something to do with the ladies, Kidogo. We need oh, to welcome back, please. Yes, we need oh. to know what <laughs> should ladies have in their handbags. You know we have ladies when you know bro and I say this because Nailewa I've come from there. Oh wow. Kuna wale tulikuwa ma bro. You know una ingia kwa handbag una unatoa kijiko. Kina uma fox fox G liko ina bite. It even has the evidence. Yeah. It's been there. So so we're going to look into that. What should a ladies pass or a ladies handbag have? Okay. To and it's it. actually two parts because apparently what we need to have is mingi. For real? Eh, but they they to like hey. two small things that are very important that you need to have anywhere you go. Because mm. if in case of any emergency, ladies mm. not talking about emergencies, nyingi sana, sure. like whereby you might need some two mm. essentials. Mm -hmm. So you need to have them on you 24-7. I'm imagining a situation whereby you've traveled, you've gone somewhere, and maybe you're in the company of your family, mm -hmm. and let's say your mom isn't around, yeah. So whatever you need, none of them have. And you can't even send them. Oh, yeah, you can't even inakua, them. Inakua tricky. So we look into that. We need we look into hey. the, those essentials that oh, you need wow. to have <laughs> as a lady in your purse. Like watch as the ziki shop or rent free. Mm. This is why you talk. Mm. Just anytime you're going, make sure they're somewhere in there. Inside okay? like there. Exactly. So chumvi as smoky pasu it all. Chumvi to at fadali. Chumvi at okay smama kwam to an utapewa. Na sukari to na pasi na nyundo na msumari. You know there was someone who was making a joke and saying oh, wow. as in, ladies have everything in their passes. Mm -hmm. As in unaweza pata ta ako na nyundo Abundari. and you're like what is the nyundo for? What is it doing so inside? Sasa ni hili kitokana mm. na chukona. Ngogelea na rudisha ndio kidogo more great. Oh wow. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that <laughs> next next week god god willing really. yeah yeah mm -hmm. but for uh today i think that is it right here lifestyle does this mm -hmm. so much we have learned especially wow, when it true. comes to wig making mm -hmm. those miscon uh, misconceptions mm -hmm. and myths that are there i mm -hmm. hope it does it because mm -hmm. there's some people who have some really really negative attitude towards wigs and True. it's the rich who have them ama exactly. you know but right now even people who have cancer and are going through hair loss need they them. have them yeah and they, they have them, them and need them yeah. they need to have them on and peer for uh, the ladies bad hair day it doesn't and have to be a thing. Me. Exactly. Sure. And that doesn't mean, mm -hmm. actually, I know a lot of men say, when I'm to a wig, they're ugly, and then they're just trying to, yeah. to just enhance. Mm -hmm. They're being, when I'm a catfish, mm -hmm. they call it catfish. You're mm -hmm. catfishing people. Mm -hmm. uh. Imagine, I manage, you now someone has a wig, they're super ugly, now they're trying to. Mm -hmm. upon, yeah, it doesn't upon. have to mean that. Doesn't. So, uh, I, appreciate, I, I appreciate each and every person, just mm -hmm. the way they are, mm -hmm. whether I have a wig, Nini, uh, as long as hajaku kwaza exactly you don't you don't even have to say anything i'm not asking you to compliment people with wigs mm -hmm. you don't have to say anything if you're going to say something negative just say nothing keep it yeah that, that is okay keep if, it if what you if you what if what you have to share to a person wearing a wig is negative you don't have to share anything yeah. just because you never know yeah you, you don't know why they're putting it exactly. on first of all exactly. in, the, in the first place probably yeah? they might be sick probably you mm -hmm. never know like you how is it you are mm -hmm. but i've loved what she said safi mm -hmm. Safiski. Yeah, make sure this. Safiski. Because that when you wanna can us for seven months, are the ones when you wanna talk. Well, they are making us. Um, take one at another. We go. One at another. Um, I got to put a scare roof on my head. The only one I'm making is my tattoo. Nishukisha hapo. 
And probably it's even clear. But yeah. nile tusa saha wa seven months na eight months. <laughs> oh, me to show me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but those wigs do embarrass people. I remember a certain video oh, I saw. Wow. Yeah. Like right now, there's so many trends that are happening with wigs. Mm. Na kuna ngine ni liona imeanza kutengeneza of late. They like shona the wig kwa kofia. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, wow, yes. The people, they were making oh, up yes. uh, this popular YouTube podcast. And now as they were talking, mm. uh, the lady akasema nasikia joto. Mm-hmm. So, the friend akakuja ku, nchedia kutoa kofia. So, <laughs> Oh, and did you want to scare Jet or come here? Julie, the wig is attached tell me, to the tell coffee. Tell me, not what I'm then, thinking. <laughs> the moment you talk, you could just see from the face I'm calling. I know. I love what I'm gonna. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Jet, I'm gonna. 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 I'
<laughs> so mimi na ngara kupita na siku chungu kicho like you know what i have to get out nilitoka nikayacha hapo asa na go excuse me go wait a minute you love to die i love you having me so he gets to excuse i'm like nini umeacha umbe oh sawa after that siku irudisha by the way nilichukia ngeka kwa bag nikajambia aje you know what i want to feel embarrassed you kuna giza so when you are ni kaza tu oh my goodness <laughs> see what we na nilikuwa oh wow na jacket nilikuwa na kofia so ni ni kufunika tu nikana go nilikuwa na enda but oh my goodness <laughs> yeah but, oh, but wow. it does it oh, does wow. happen una ni chakelea see Oh let me just love cuz <laughs> babu what I'm just trying to imagine probably some sort ah ya kuna magic zinafanyika kwa hii gari he is boy he is hanging from the roof of the vehicle <laughs> it is defying gravity oh my <laughs> on a very light <laughs> note please never remind oh, wow. me of this story okay <laughs> oh wow ah. amazing <laughs> so we've had an amazing amazing time to now watch and uh, hit the gym that will be coming to you faith will be taking us right nini 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 faith what's happening okay hi <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we are going to be getting hit the gym, okay? Well, from Faith. Yeah. And we are going to be working <laughs> on our glutes. Oh yeah. Sawa? So, so, mm-hmm. And it's a very very interesting episode. We keep on emphasizing that you should work out no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for reasons or excuses not to work out, trust me, you will find them. A lot. Okay? And and with this with this particular episode, we will look into what you should do if you go to the gym and the gym instructor is not there. Oh yeah. You should not just sit still. You've had the you've had the opportunity to learn so many things from the gym mm. so if you find that hayuko mm. this is still something that you can do so watch out and get but i hit the gym but from us here it's a wrap we'll see you guys next week same place same time right here in lifestyle thursdays with a more interesting topic to delve into uh deep into my name is sylvia wanja enjoy the rest of your viewing my name is faith wema bye yes. bye bye <laughs>
and then we'll proceed. Remember, these ones, the glutes, the muscle called the glute is very important in everything that you do, whether you're walking, whether you're working out. So it's very important to work it out. At okay in the public gym, don't just work on your upper body and face, work on your lower body. So we'll be doing the steps kidogo. Well, your breathing is accelerating because Babu, you're doing something. And then, now for this one, we're going to do the katsi lunges. Katsi lunge. And <laughs> these ones are a little bit tricky, but you have to make sure one of your leg is, uh, let's say 30 degrees ahead of the other one, and the other one is behind it. You can do without weights and you can do with weights. So we can start, we can do 12 reps. Actually, let's do 10 and then we will do the other 10 with weights. So this is how you do. we proceed. You can take breaks in between five seconds or even 10 seconds. You take and then you proceed to the other one. Remember, we are working on our glutes, so we have to be really consistent. And for it, for you to see the result, lazimo ko consistent. Not just one weekly, not a week, and then you stop, but continue. So with this other one, we are going to do the sumo squats. And with these ones, you have to ensure that your legs, as you can see, my legs lazima ziwe heavy, like that. You have to maintain them like this. And then you can do with weight, you can do without weight. For a start, we can start without weight. We can do five of them, and then we do the five with uh, weight. So this is how you do it. This is how you do it. We're going to do five of them. Let's do it. Now you can do now with weight. Now with it, I have a 10 kg dumbbell. So you can only like five, you can do up to 10 if you don't have a weight, all right? Mine is 10 kgs, so we start. You are stronger than your excuses, either way. Mine was 10 kgs, so you can do five, whatever is comfortable with you. You can even do up to 15 kgs, and that's it. And on to our last one, we're going to do the deadlift. Hapa sasa, if you feel like you're straining your back, maintain a 5 kg or even a 10 kg, or you can even use your broomstick. Hakuna excuse. So with this one as well, I know now you know the drill. Be comfortable. We can do five with a weight and then five without a weight. So we're starting. Let's go. That has been our workout today. You can do without a lift. We can you can do with with a lift. Come over to Mefanya. That has been our workout today. You are stronger than your excuses. Remember to hit the gym. Apart from eating a healthy diet, maintain the aspect of hitting the gym every now and then. So until next time, we've been working out on a very special muscle group called the glutes. My name is Faith Wewa. See you. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this amazing episode was shot at Chester Hotel during the Indigo Fitness Health Club so that you can also be fit. So you're all welcome. Remember, Chester Hotel, Indigo Health and Fitness Club. See you here.